Pennsylvania freshman Jay Weiss facing Tom Togus, a junior from York, Pennsylvania for Lehigh. Tom Togus, a former EIWA champion. Tommy won that battle two years ago. Lehigh out in front now, 14 to nine. Wrestlers tying up over near the edge of the mat. So when we Togus. were talking about the Easterns, we said, where, where could Lehigh potentially place? Stay the fact here. that Epperly's the only wrestler other than Treaster in the East that are uh, that is ranked in the top 20, you got to give him a shot for being in the finals. And then at 34, Frick is ranked. Uh, Yazo is ranked. Togus is ranked. And so is uh, Boyson. Those five. However, Epperly's hurt. And Boyson is hurt. And that doesn't help when you're going to the go. Easterns to have injuries like Stay that. Here, shooting. But in looking ahead and saying, well, let's take the top 20 of the National Mat News, the e Eastern wrestlers aren't faring too well this year. 118, Kuvo's ranked third, and Mejias of Wilkes is ranked 16th. Warning here, warning here, you're working. There's a warning. At 126, it's Epperly and Treister. Stay in here. Larry, was that warning he's against Togus? He's not pushing him. Let's go, stay here. I thought it was against the FNM wrestler. But what you heard was Mark Fowler saying he's pushing him. At uh, 34, you have Andre Miller of Wilkes and Frick of Lehigh. Uh, Miller, I believe, is the defending champion at 34, isn't he? Yep, 42, you have Yazo and Nirov of Army's back. So they got to be the potential finals. At 150, you have Radomski of Navy and Ailing of Princeton. Going at 58, you have Togus of Army and Ripley of, uh, Togus of Lehigh and Ripley of Army, and possibly Schleicher and Navy. Off the edge of the mat. And Wrestles return to the middle. And he hit 167. It's a minute 22 remaining in the first period here at 158 pounds. No score for either wrestler. The team score is 14 for Lehigh, nine for Franklin and Marshall College. Togus definitely need even uh, five points for the team at this junction because Lehigh not having really much anything after 177. Well, it's going to be a juggled lineup. We know that much already. Neutral. So, but I'm positive Vetch won't wrestle. Yeah. So who are you going to put at 90? Who are you well, going to put at heavyweight? Goldberg? Goldberg's never wrestled for Lehigh. And Boyson's not going to wrestle. So there's going to be... Yeah, it, it's hard to predict yeah. just who's going to end up where. And, always, if Lehigh had its full team strength, the same team that it beat Syracuse and... Uh, Togas posting a knee here, Larry. Look, oh, almost converted that for a takedown. But if Lehigh was at full team strength, the same gang that it used to beat Army and Navy and Syracuse oh, let's see. and Wilkes, I'd say yes, but they don't have that gang tonight. And uh, anything can happen in those last three weight classes that to swing it to the FNM's direction. Wrestlers over the edge of the mat, back into the center. 26 seconds remaining in the first period here at 158 pounds. No score in this bout. <laughs> Both Rice. wrestlers kind of locking horns, not really, uh, nobody's really shooting here. Weiss with a fifth is six and six, so he's at the 500 mark this year. As I said, he wrestled at Allen High School. For Coach Schleicher and placed fifth in the States last year. Warning here! Oh, nice snap down attempt by Togus. Who was that warning? Matty Ward, Togus right at the buzzer. Warren Togus at the buzzer. That's a warning for each wrestler then. Lehigh's choice. Lehigh's choice. Lehigh chooses down. You heard Fran Michael, our referee. Lehigh chooses down. No score entering the second period. The team scores 14 for Lehigh and nine for Franklin and Marshall. Tom. Good shot of Tom Togus. Junior out of York, Pennsylvania. The 16 and six record. Turns in, gains the reversal. Flares the hands. 
turns in, gains a reversal. Togus likes to likes to use those tilts. Not too successful though this year. Uh, he's, been, he's been cranking a few, and they've been turning okay, in on. Legs now or get out. But I want to finish up on my Eastern predictions at 160, 70 of Mars of Syracuse and Turner of William and Mary. At 77, the two top-ranked wrestlers are Boyson of Lehigh and Harris of Army. Let's take a look at this reversal here by Togus. Hit, hit the deck, he kicks the hips inside, and this turns right this in. Turns right in, grabs the leg. And then, of course, at 90, the two tough boys, Kelly, Navy, and Rogers of Syracuse. That and a heavyweight, a battle. you have Botcher of Army. And the real surprise gets of Rutgers. It's caution on the bottom. Caution on the bottom. Weiss cautioned on the bottom for false start. Good set. Top. So Getz is uh, ranked third in the country at unlimited at heavyweight. Slam. Togus picks his opponent up, turns him to the mat. Don't slam. You hear the referee advising him, do not slam him. Just what is the criteria for that, Larry? The criteria is. Uh, safe return to the mat and it's a broad interpretation to some referees i questioned a referee one time i said why was that a slam he says because he got hurt well how dumb that referee should have turned in his whistle stalling on the bottom stalling on the bottom tom togas now in front by a score of three nothing with 45 seconds remaining in the second period here at 158 pounds you know in the earlier days of wrestling fans would say you had to bring your knee to the mat first and then drop your opponent. And there's that was a lot in of our fans, day. Yeah. There's a lot of fans still believe that. It's they say true. his knee touched. Well, let me tell you, folks, I'd be glad to pick up your son, lift him high above my head, drop down on one knee, and then drill him to the mat. So you can see it doesn't make any sense having one knee hit first. Didn't make sense then, and certainly doesn't make, you can just picture holding somebody above your head, high above your head, you're on your knees, and then you go crash into the mat and say, well, my knees were there first. Larry, could you demonstrate that for the fans with Tab Thacker for us? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. VI fans will remember Tab Thacker, a heavyweight from North Carolina. He was also in that movie. What was that movie? I saw it on uh, television. He was, uh, he, he was with Goldie Hawn. He was yes. the guy, the big football player. The Wildcats. Wildcats, yeah. yes. That was Tab Tack. Tab Thacker. I'll get it right. It's the end of the second period. Tom Togus out in front by a score of 3-0. Weiss of Franklin and Marshall chooses a neutral position. Start of the third period. Here you go. Got to understand, Weiss fell. I, I was successful in the first period, not getting taken down, so let's go back up on our feet. We're on better. Togus has a minute and 48 seconds time advantage. Reversing in about 12 seconds and then maintaining top position. Out of bounds, the wrestles a return to the center. They're on their feet. There's a minute 35 remaining in the third period here at 158 pounds. There. In on two Togas. Pennsylvania wrestlers. Tom Togas from York, Pennsylvania. Austin Jay Weiss from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Togas out in front, score three nothing. He also has a minute 48 of riding time. Surprised we don't have any Long Island wrestlers in there tonight. There's Togus. There's Togus Gets. scoring two points for a takedown. He'll go ahead by a score of five nothing now. With a minute six remaining in the third period. Here at 158 pounds. Get some wrestlers from uh, Long Island from uh, Long Island out there. Is that to appease Pascal Perry? <laughs> well, I wish Channel 21 would start showing uh, more of the wrestling meets out there in the Long Island area in Garden City. And show you some good grappling. Wanta was a great place to wrestle. Still is. And, of course, Dick Zittrick, now living in Sinking Spring, was a member of the Wanta wrestling team. Heard from him. He enjoys listening to our telecast down in Sinking Spring. And very kind of him to write to us and let us know what he thought. And thanks a lot, Dick Zittrick, for your... Kind words. Here you go. Wrestlers over the edge to return to the center. Tom Togas out in front. A score of 5 0 with 44 seconds remaining Kick in set. the third period.
Togus gonna he's definitely try got and tilt his man. He's got time advantage, so he's got a six-point lead at this time. Tommy likes to work off a bar, Larry, when he's riding on top. Too. I used to like to work off a bar or my foot usually on the stool. <laughs> yeah, I was referring to a different type of bar. <laughs> Mark, Mark Sherback, another guy that works off the bar. Yeah, yeah. He was disappointed that Valley Forge didn't do anything, but his Valley Forge was didn't have Gus Filipos there to help him out. Valley Forge and Mercersburg, they didn't do a thing. Third it's period Togus. coming to a close gets here. Reverse at the and buzzer. Togus gets reversed at the buzzer, so the final score will will be six for Tom Togus, two for Jay Weiss from Franklin and Marshall, making the team score 17 for Lehigh, nine for Franklin and Marshall. We'll be back with more wrestling action right after.